Are you serious? Are you serious? Is Yellowstone super volcano ready to blow? Well, that's that's exactly what we're hearing. Uh, reports now amid the growing swarm of earthquakes. Now over 1,000 earthquakes in the last month at Yellowstone National Park. Now we know there was a 4.6 earthquake that hit right there at the uh, uh, right there in the center of it, right there where the super volcano is, uh, about a month ago. And then we just had 5.8 earthquake hit Lincoln, Montana, so which is all part of the danger zone. Okay, we just had that this week. So Montana's largest earthquake ever. Scientists are now growing increasingly concerned that the so-called Super volcano at the heart of Yellowstone National Park could be building toward a Category 7 eruption. So what is a super volcano, you may ask? What does its explosion mean for life on planet Earth? Well, I can tell you it would be catastrophic. It'd be cataclysmic, apocalyptic of a biblical proportion. There's no question about it. It would pretty well put an end to life for the most part, in North um, and Central and South America, our side of the hemisphere. Is this thing going to blow before Jesus returns? I don't know. Could it be a part of uh, the effects of the gravitational pull that we may be going to experience on this planet from planet X or Nibiru when it comes closer, this binary system that's pulling up, seemingly something shaking the heavens and could be trying to pull the earth apart we're breaking records in volcanoes, breaking records in earthquakes, breaking records in sinkholes. We're having all kinds of extreme weather conditions, global changes that are taking place that are affecting uh, mudslides, landslides, flash flooding, all kinds of thunderbolts of lightning. And, and we're, we're just witnessing one event after another. The sun is hotter than it's ever been before. The radiation levels. In California, in the last two years, have went up 13%. In the Northeast, 19%. And the earth seems to be shaking and quaking. It's almost like the, it's, it, the wobbling on the, uh, uh, on the poles. And so we're watching all of these apocalyptic signs, realizing that every bit of it is leading us ever so closer to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And now we're in a heat wave. It's almost like a heat dome that has brought uh, unbelievable suffering in Iran. It hit 129.2 degrees Fahrenheit with a heat index of a record 162 degrees. You could fry an egg. Oh, no, no. You could fry an omelet and the bacon and maybe even, I don't know what all. I mean, are you serious? This is unbelievably hot. And it's happening in Southern California. 10,000 cattle have died from the excessive heat. Oh, and what about Nevada? And, and 119 degrees in Las Vegas. And 120 degrees in Tucson, Arizona. And, and Mexico, it's cooking down there. Are you serious? So we're, we're, we're looking and we're witnessing and we're understanding that the UV rays, the, the, uh, uh, the cosmic Ray, the gamma rays, all that's affecting the earth. You've got to understand the magma's moving in the molten uh, magma. The lava is all in the core of the earth, heating up from some type of intense uh, gravitational pull. That uh, Even scientists say that there's an 8% tilt. The entire universe, the entire universe we're in has tilted 8%. So, I mean, there's something biblical going on here with the signs of the second coming of Christ and all of the apocalyptic events going on on this planet are coinciding with the apocalyptic event. It's like whatever's going on in the spiritual world is manifesting in the physical. And there's signs in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. And the earth is going to soon have a solar eclipse of a biblical proportion where the sky will turn as dark as sackcloth of hair, as it says in the book of Joel. That's coming up August the 21st. 
33 days later, we're going to have the great constellational alignment in the heavens. It has never happened before, nor will ever happen again, but is is explained to you in detail from a prophecy that's 2,000 years old by the prophet John, uh, the apostle John, in the book of Revelation, chapter 12. It's all coming together. We're, we're in the last days. You don't want to miss this program tonight. You really don't. We're going to break down all of these events that are going on around the world and try to help you understand just how close we are. Christ is knocking at the door if you look at it in a, a prophetic time, time frame. He's literally knocking on the door. Armageddon around the corner. Are you saved? I'll see you tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern at my website at www.paulbigleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbigleyprophecy.com. If you're not saved, you better have a front row seat and get ready. If you are saved, you better pull up close. Time's running out.